Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video we're going to talk about TOT, a Tales of Tenario. Now, I've stopped stream if you have not noticed. Um, I streamed since February 17th and I don't remember what day, but it was our official... If you go back to it, you will see it, but it was our official like end stream and all that. And I, we had a send off and stuff like that. Um, so when the game comes out, I'll stream again. Uh, other than that, I am not going to stream for like hours in a day, especially because I need the computer and I will, I want to test out something, especially because if you look closely on top of my, you know, username icon, you can see, um, um, a drawing app is open. I've recently bought a drawing tablet and I'm going to use it and I want to use it on games and stuff and I want to make videos on it. Anyways, um, uh, other last thing is something so Toriyama has if you know you know I don't really want to talk about it so much because I don't know how to like feel about it because I, I grew up a grown up with Dragon Ball and stuff like that and I don't want to keep that those subjects in to videos of those stuff or that anyways I'm gonna stop yapping I'm gonna get to the point of the video because that's what you guys are here for am I right anyways Lucky AC did make up a poll it says quick little poll do y'all want a mini tutorial on how to shiny hunt starters in TOT saw people asking for it over the last few weeks and figured I'd pull up. I would do a poll for it for another helpful before it release. Well, of course, a lot of people said yeah. And then he did. He made a quick video even if you if you go to X or Twitter, you could see it. Um All right, welcome back to There's a video I mean, so I thought it was self-explanatory. Does he just literally explain everything? You just leave the game and join. You don't even have to fight. You can't fight them. The shiny could be sh um, the starters could be shiny there. I, mean, I thought that was everybody knew that already. So the mostly thing you're seeing is like how it would look like. Everybody knew that. And then literally from here, you just click on Rabush, and there you go. Now you have yourselves a shiny starter. Again, I thought everybody knew that already. We can even go in here. See, it's shiny. You can see right here. It's shiny. Number seven. Shiny. United States. If you're curious about what this means, by All the Tenorians will have that. This is essentially um, moving on to the next one, because we can't make this whole video 10 minutes or more. Well, we can, but, you know, not more than 20 minutes. Anyways, this is another sneak peek. You could change the combat to whatever you want. Change the nickname. We already saw the top part and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure we all saw this. And we already saw this. Anyways, because we already saw most of these, you already know sneak peeks. Those are the sneak can be a sneak peek um, segment. Now, time to talk about this. Uh but we're gonna um I'll t later go on on what um led up to this. But just long story short, all this. The plan was to come to you. So, yeah. Um, you could just read this part if you want. You could pause the video right now and just read it. I'll give you a few seconds. Anyways, hopefully you read that. Um, so, long story short, a summary of this whole entire thing. Uh, he was tired of disappointing... You know, everybody and I'm on a stress, he got in and he doesn't feel fit to 
um, be an uh, uh, owner, a co-owner, and he's stepping down. Now, doesn't mean he's gonna stop, you know, working on TLT. That just means he is, um, yeah, right here. Topia is not quitting. He is just stepping down from owner as he has messed up a ton with decisions making. Topia will still script, still be active here, but just not be co-owner anymore and decide decisions like release dates and such. Also, B did some reorganizing of the server, uh, Server saw some confusion, but the news channel is now announcement, this one. And the leaks channels is now called Sneak Peaks. Some of, uh, of the other channels were renamed as well. Sorry for the in um, confusion, but you just know you're not going crazy. Channels names got changed. They're not gone. Um... So all of them, he felt like he was getting disappointed. He was disappointed people and all that. And if you read this part, which is a segment of giving the content creators, um, CC, the CC is giving them a sneak peek and stuff like that. I'll show you what message he did give. Anyways, before I show you the message, that all that happened, what was the cause and stuff like that, join our Discord server. It's in the description. All our social media is in the description. And you might as well subscribe. You got to this far of the video. Drop down, uh, go down there, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow all our social medias, our Roblox outfits, you, were, you could purchase one of them in our Roblox group, join our Discord server, we're trying to hit a thousand members. Anyways, the matches is right here, and he says, we got some exciting news to share with you um, today, uh, first, of, first off, we're third to announce that we're launching a demo for content creators this week. Content creators will be get to get to dev, uh, dive a little to know it. Okay, this part's long story short says content creators, the partner program, could uh, and other content creators could apply for early access um, to play the game. Of course, early access. Now, secondly, it says. Um, we will be revealing our new release date for the public game at the end of the content creator demo. Get ready to mark your calendars. Then all last but not least on launch day, we will be dropping a roadmap aligning an exciting future of Tales of Tenorio, featuring info on Stadium 3 and the Battle Coliseum. Thank you for your love, patience, COT with another So... The community did not like so much of the partner program people getting um, early access or the demo access, which some people did have a point, which is like it was been three delays and stuff like that. Um, you guys could tell me your opinion on it in the comments. I'm sure a lot, or most of you would love to do that. So go ahead. I replied to every every comment, and yeah, that's pretty much what happened. People got upset about. Now, do I think Tales of Tenorio can still come back from this? Honestly, yes. Um, as much as we complain and stuff like that, I am sure we're still going to play the game. And I am sure we're, they we're going to play the game every time they update or whatever. How can they come back from this? Easily um, updates. Make them on time. Tell us when. Make sure they're on time. Don't lie. Just update 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 on the same time you tell us just do that easy easy sailing right there we're in rough waters because of you know delays and delays but if they you know give us just full on update and uh, promise on what day and actually deliver i'm sure we're all gonna just not really care and just play the game plus Roblox is dry. We know that. So, we're going to play the game regardless. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'm going to leave it off here. Thanks for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you have, liking, all that. Share the video. Comment your opinion on Tales of Tenorio. Do you think they could come back from this? Do you think they can't? Do you think Tales of Tenorio is done for? Is it cooked? Is it not cooked? You tell me. Comments. Tell me. Anyways. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow all our social media. It's in the description. Um, sorry that um, 
I've been kind of delaying this, but there you are. Here's the video. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe and make sure to take care.